What's up everyone, Gaming Dad here giving you the 101 on controllers for your Xbox One and PC. Let's see what I've got. So this is Xbox's wireless controller. We all know the deal with it, but to me there's only one word that really is needed to explain this, and that's mass-produced. Mm, okay, well, two words. You get the point. Anyway, yes, it's quality. Yes, it looks pretty nice and posh in a way, but it's boring, and compared to its main rival, the PlayStation DualShock 4, it just doesn't cut the cheese, and it's not in the same league. I mean, the price alone is enough at 54 99 but then there's the warranty. It's only it's 90 days. I mean... Ugh, come on, it's just not worth the expense, is it? You know, it's just... Excuse the back. I, I don't know where that's gone. But, I mean, you know... It mass-produced. Mass-produced. You know, that being said, I found an alternative. Voila. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, parlez-vous français. I found a bit of uh, French in me, I think. I don't know what I mean. I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, well, I'm just going with the flow. Anyway, this is the Spectra Enhanced by Powerray. Now, I do have a confession. You've probably spotted it already. It is wired. I better pull that wire up there so it doesn't look weird. Uh, but bear with me, and I might convert you to wire controllers just yet, or more specifically this one, because this controller has got a few cheeky little extras that I think you're going to like if you haven't spotted one just yet but we'll see so at first glance it looks pretty much the same as the xbox controller but you know a few little details to point out uh to make it pop and that's firstly the material so it's a matte finish but it's a different matte finish it's actually a rubberized plastic rather than the hard plastic usual controllers have and it's real nice it's slightly more grippier i guess it holds the grease a little bit more i'm not sure if you can tell uh but it's got definitely got a more quality feel whilst in hand you know and there's a nice little bit of weight to it but it really feels nice so not bad then secondly don't know if you can see they're not gray circles they're not random or a bit of coloring they're actually led lighting you ready for this oh yeah oh yeah okay so the lights actually go around the controller and round the components as you can see. I'm not sure if the colour's getting there through the camera, but this is meant to be red. It is actually a very vibrant red, very rosy, you know, really nice. Now, I told you it was gonna pop, and let's be honest, it's 2020, so everyone is loving uploading their setup and showing off their RGB and their lighting on social media. So what's better than having the controller to match? It offers seven colours, you know, I could flick through, I'm just gonna have a flick through, you know. You can pause it and do whatever. And then it also offers a flow, which it's doing now, and it flows for all the colors. So it doesn't matter what you want, whether you want it flowing or static colors, you've got it. Uh, there's also the off. So if you you know, don't fancy the lighting, let's go for that. Uh, you know, you can match your mood, you match your stream setup, you can just match your, your, set, your gaming setup for uh, Instagram or Facebook and you know social media and it's all controlled by a button on the back and speaking of the back let's turn it over now here is the back I have just unplugged it just to make it more clearer and just to stop the faffing with the wire because it keeps getting in the way <laughs> but it doesn't get in the way when you play games I'm just saying I'm just twisting it about anyway so there's a few hidden gems which have now been really revealed I've just realized that I'm still on camera so there we go the cat is out the bag, whatever the expression is. Anyway, uh, so the back is just a standard, you know, matte plastic, just like you find on the normal controllers. Uh, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for the two features that are on here. Uh, you'll notice the two program buttons on where your palm grips are, and you'll notice the two trigger locks. Now, some of you may like the extra buttons to stand out a little bit more, like, you know, the little flappy paddles, like if you've got... Um, you know, quick shifters on your car, uh, similar sort of thing on like scuff controllers and whatever. And I believe Power Ray actually do controllers with those and they're called the Pro Series or the, the Pro Controllers, which is obviously why everyone really calls them. Uh, but then other controllers do have these little buttons. And, you know, and others will like these sort of buttons, which are stealthy, 
and you know a bit more hidden and a little bit of a surprise and i think that's why i'm on the stealth side because it is a surprise because you don't you can't see him hanging at the bottom you can't see them at the top. You don't know they're there. I didn't actually know when I brought this that they had them. You know, it was a nice little surprise. It, you know, use your middle finger, or if your hands are a bit smaller, use your ring finger. And they're just a, such a nice little press, and it actually feels easier than a paddle. I don't know. You know, you'll have to see and find out, and let me know what you think, because I'm with the stealth and the small, the smaller little buttons. It just looks tidier and nicer. You know, and to set it up, it's just really easy. You know, you've got a programmable button on the top. You press that button. You press the button you want to change. And then you press the button that you want it to be. So, for example, Call of Duty, I've set my left, upside down, I know, left one to be my sprint. So I can sprint around just with that. And then I'm trying to crouch and slide with this one. Just makes it a lot easier on Warzone, doesn't it? You know, life is better with more buttons. Nice little slogan, sort of. Uh, in terms of the trigger locks, uh, it can help cut down reaction times, obviously saving you from the gulag. You know, obviously Warzone is the most popular, so I'm going to keep referencing it. Um, slide one way, and it's a, a smaller press than a normal controller. Slide all the other way, and it is a full press like a normal controller. Now, I like to, because there are three points i like to have in the middle just best of both worlds you know i can actually feel the press but there's also you know saves a little bit of time so when i come out of the corner it's all good you know all decent and you know choose what you want it's fully customizable do what you want and obviously there's the led button underneath now earlier i did say that i'd try and convert it to wired so i'm going to give you a couple of reasons why wired won't be a bad idea or isn't a bad idea perhaps so let's find out one, no batteries to be thrown away, helping the planet. And you don't need to manage rechargeable ones, and which are, by the way, super expensive. And, you know, it's annoying to keep rechargeable batteries everywhere or even batteries, you know, keeping a little part. But I can promise you that if you have batteries, they will run out at the worst time. You'll be ready for victory on any other game or you're ready for your kill streak, and they will go. So... You know, you've always got to have batteries, but with this, no need. Uh, two, there's a reduced input latency compared to wireless, which everyone should have, you know. Saves time, you know, straight there, no lag, nothing. Number three, instant plug and play. No messing around with Bluetooth or any other adapters to connect to your PC. So PC gamers, plug this straight into there and the USB straight into your PC. Done. Connected. Number four. In some cases, you need half the price of wireless controllers, which, if it saves money, it's got to be decent. And obviously, this is a quality product, so even better. Now, before I forget, I do have to mention the wire. So obviously, this is a key important part of the controller. Now, it's not just a normal plastic cable, like if I can grab a cable that's here. It's not just a cheap plastic cable. It's a lot thicker, as you can see, if I do a bit of a comparison. And it is braided, which is more important, stronger. And, you know, if you look at Razer products who are top of the game at the minute, I've brought a few Razer products for my uh, gaming laptop. Braided wire is the way to go, and it's a lot stronger. You know, stiffer flex in terms of this, but I don't mind that. I think it's a two-meter long cable. And you'll notice there's a few teeth and a little bit of a slot further up. That's just because if I click it in, if that goes in, it actually falls into a sleeve. Uh, whether I've mentioned that or not, I'm not sure. It falls into the sleeve and it means it's just a secure fit. So rather than it just being plugged in by the end and held in by the end, so when you pull it, it's not going to go anywhere. This is just super strong. Have your rage. It does not matter. Excellent. Loving it. So, you know, less likely to break. All good. So I hope I've converted you a little bit, you know. If not, I've made you think about it. Or if you haven't thought about it, I apologize. <laughs> anyway, finally, to the most impressive thing about the whole package, the cost. It's $24.99 at cheapest right now. Or more expensive, it's $29.99. I got this for $29.99, but I've sent it for sale for $24.99 right now of this video. That's crazy. Uh, there's so much in this tiny little package and, you know, it comes with two years warranty from the manufacturer. So with a wired controller, which has less to go wrong than a wireless controller, obviously, 
you know, you could use this and trash this and come into the end of the two years and then get a new one or whatever, however it works. But, you know, you don't get the point. It's just not going to break on you. It's just absolutely solid. It's pure quality. And, you know, I think that Power A have been so generous with the pricing with this because it's a, it's a quality controller. And obviously, it's offering a 3.5 mil jack as well. So your audio is absolutely fine. Party chat's absolutely fine. Uh, based off your headset, your audio is absolutely sound. There's no Xbox adapter, but it does not matter. I don't buy any Xbox accessories because they're quite pricey and they don't do much for me. Unless you've got a Turtle Beast, then. Mm, interesting. Uh, unless you've got wireless. All good. But I just hope they don't up the pricing because they could probably up the pricing to the same as the official Xbox controller. And I won't complain. Well, I would, but I wouldn't because I've already got one. So for your, for everyone else's sake and you who are watching it, I hope they do not inflate the prices. But, you know, I don't think that's going to happen anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm Gaming Dad, and this is my 101 on controllers. I stream on Twitch at Gaming Dad's 101, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. It's on the evening around 7 o'clock, uh, but it does vary based off, you know, obviously I've got to look after my family and obviously work. Uh, so, yeah, and videos come out weekly, mainly around the weekend. And I'll do the best to find the best deals out there I can. I'm always about saving money, so I hope you like videos. If you can leave a thumbs up or a like, or whatever you want to do, comment what you liked about it, if you've got this controller and what you think. Uh, and if you could subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it, and hit that bell icon. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.